Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mercury FPL Trophy. It's a new season, 2022-2023. Last season, we know we had a very good time. And the season shows say managers that can be very competitive. So they expect the same energy, 2022-2023. And this season get for be very exciting. During the course of the season, I get for the year a lot from we, the analyst them of FPL um, for the Mercury FPL Trophy. Anyway, on the immediate left, we get um, a manager with experience. He's going to introduce yourself. A key FPL lover and player. Me and Andrea, this is my third season for play FPL. One thing I go start off with for this season is for explaining the rules and regulations, right? Because last season, we get more queries them about some of the regulations, maybe um, make managers they ask about in. So one thing, we, um, the first rule is prizes are only awarded in person. So if you're not present for can collect your prize, Yusef, you're not entitled to them. We they give the next place manager. So if you, know, you can't force in a month and you're not there around for collect them, not the number two manager and I go win them. Now I go collect the prize. Okay. The second part, manage. We know we know particular who say you day, um, where you they play the game. As long as you able calm tongue for can collect the prize. But if you not say you know where they out of the country, then you can not collect the prize. You for carry the passport, and we they say you for still calm and collect the prize. If the prize important to you enough and say okay i want for cam and and the boy again right for kind tongue then please come but you get for cow with um, a valid passport um or national id with your national identification number we know they accept bad certificates for this third point um there was a time last season where the manager at the end of um a game week 37 to game week 38 the manager in name change mind you the manager name different from the team name so the manager in name change. So this year, any at any point during the course of the season, where the manager in name change. So if my name Mario Make, my name change to um, um, Mario George, we they disqualify you automatically. Fourth point, because we did try for build a football love and community um, for uh, Nadi Konski, we they expect say for everybody we win, you should give us something in return. So we go ask, um, we go ask the winners for give TV and radio interviews. After you win, it would be good for can say, oh yes, I want this and I'm a strategy. Then it's just for um, share your own tips and insight as we get for do this season. Um, fifth one and very important. So we don't make a very clear say, prizes therefore only be awarded to people in person. But if in instances where person get health, emergency and you get for fly out of the country on the line health emergency that's the only time right and the manager for now within like, like two months before nine for the left you're not going to left six months they say owner oh, emergency so now two months before the end of the season and at the end of the season no more would they make the provision therefore during the course of the season if you're not there around for like collect the price you're not going to be entitled. Well, end of the season only for health emergency and you get for fly out. That's the only time we go consider them. You know, automatically entitled, we go consider them. And the decision will be made by the team and the managing director of Mercury. Sixth one. Any manager will not come. This I just didn't reiterate. Any manager will not show up for collecting prize with the disqualifier. And if you now you come first at the end of the season, you're not there around you, you don't get any health emergency. We make you get for left in the last two months um, till the end of the season, close to the end of the season, you did disqualify you. That's clear. Number seven, the decision for all the team there, right, rests with the managing director of Mercury. So Ingo decide. Obviously the team will send evidence and we collate information for make it understand how for arrive at the decision but it go make them and if anything we arise out of the rules there mercury's managing director will decide 
number eight. And this is not something we happen right throughout the season. The, for the in-play prizes, it's easy to determine the manager of the month because you can go there and you select the month of February. You get the manager of the month. It's easy to find. However, for calculate the, the best game week score of any particular month, mind you, you go get like about five game weeks in a month and you get like about about eight to ten thousand managers they play it go difficult for scroll through so the software where they use now a beta version it's still being tested you know perfect it so even though we go make announcements for the best game week score let's say we say okay aki na in get the best game week score for a particular month if andrea come and say oh um when I say Aki score 100, but me score 120 and I didn't have the league and I get proof, we go give Andrea simply because the rule, um, the rule not for disqualify people and we actually entitled to, to the prize. We want to make the people and we win them, even if we not advertise the name, and this is not only for the best game we score. So I think that's those are the rules, and we they, um, ensure people and for reach out and ask questions but the rules will remain the rules and like we say if any other team or day that the rules we go um, um the decision will be made by the md of mercury so as we don't discuss the rules now we go um the other panelists and go discuss the prizes um so tell um viewers what's in the prizes for the um at the end of the season okay so for this season the prizes stay unchanged just like last season so we they reward the first um, ten top ten managers in the game prizes. So obviously the winning um, prize could be sixty thousand leons, new leons. Um, the second person will get forty forty thousand leons. The third person will get thirty thousand leons. The fourth person will get twenty five thousand leons. The fifth person will get twenty thousand leons. Um, the sixth person will get fifteen thousand leons. The seventh ten thousand leons. Eight five thousand leons. Um, nine. Um, 3,000 units and the 10th person will get 2,000 units. And then the prize is them for this season. So, um, I can go tell you that the prize is them for the, um, the monthly prize system. So, we get in play prize winner for make sure see the hype and people then go get concentrated with what's in the happen. So, we get two in play prizes them the one at the manager of the month. The manager of the month, the new Leons, you will get 1,200. That 1,200 day, now you will get for make sure see anybody will come first. As Mario Mila explained the rules, them then get some catch them with it with this wire. So this is straightforward because as you just go now the system, you know that we need manager of the month. For the best game week score, now they da back and forth in their times so where it's subject to change. Basically, we can announce them and waiting. You say what's evidence there for prove. Say now you get the best game week score, then we'll give you down in a six hundred leons, the new leons. Okay. Um so that's it. So now we will begin to discuss the new season ahead proper. Waiting now with expectations from this new season, starting with the players, them like what are the exciting signings them? Obviously, I know the first name we all go think of, um, <coughs> Ellen Haaland. But who's like who's players them we think in a new one them or players that we transfer between teams like and waiting we think say who's one that we think so for the pay attention to. Um, I think uh, Gabriel is from Arsenal. Obviously, pre season now, he don't they score goals there. I know, say, even an, at Arsenal, he has become like a good asset to them for score goals. I think one of the most exciting yeah. things done for Arsenal. And obviously, they give the fans their hope. So, hopefully, after they do three uh, seasons, so when the season actually starts, yeah. it will continue as well. What are your expectations for you you guys, Stalin? Oh, Stalin, <laughs> Stalin scored in first goal um, yesterday. yesterday. Yes. So, I'm, lazy, yeah. Yes. so, I'm actually mm -hmm. excited mm -hmm. for, see, <laughs> for see Stalin in play. Uh, hopefully, instead of come the AB start Chelsea, and then we end up win uh, an. Um, End up top four basically. You, you, you think it will perform as well as Man as if they do now Man City will go perform better. I think because now we go can change you get more game time, right? Oh yes, true. So we go get more game time, you increase the chances then for mm -hmm. perform better, score more goals and then you know who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about the other team there, like teams then like Liverpool, Nunes, um Arsenal. what's in now your expectations for the signings then we then bring in? So, if I say, I go look this from two angles, the one angle PFL-wise, if it comes to fantasy <laughs> Premier League, 
if na fantasy premier league i don't believe in new person because i always believe in somebody with proven and don't play Okay. Because the change of league can also affect players them. But with Darwin Nunes, some of the things that we made on see videos and how he play, do somebody we may go better on. <laughs> to be Why? honest. Why? Well, Why? The first first touch? <laughs> first touch now yeah, one, but at the end of the day in decision making. Uh, Even after in first touch. Because tell me you for help pass. Because I think say the thing the way they make points by fantasy. Yeah. More like if you not score you go assist. assist yeah. So if you don't make decision for assist, then how I will get points off you? Yeah. So that's not one thing. But with City, they don't sign in for Haaland. I just think that in a first way, like they break the barrier. Yeah. Like as in wait till you believe in all. Because I don't play 45 minutes as of now where we the top winner against Bayern Munich. And it be really impactful that game day. Like any chance yes. you see and say, hey, they are playing stuff. That's it's the cool. thing. Yeah. So not more like that for me. Okay, so for me, I will talk about um, players them United. So we own team at the moment, we're in a transition. There's a new manager, there's, uh, there are new players, a lot of things that happen in Ronaldo. We really don't know if he get for a day or he not get for a day or team get for sorry for us, he can't play for we. So, <laughs> so I think with all of that, we, we just get to be mindful. But as I keep point out, it's always good to start off with tried and tested players them. And the reason why you want to do that, this is very interesting. At some point during the first half of the season, World Cup get for start, right? Yeah. And I think Sidani might affect players and performance, not necessarily negatively, but players then go, they try super hard for prove themselves. So we don't know, for example, how managers then get for, say, okay, let players then get reduced minutes. We, we really don't know the dynamics, but how do you think Sidani get for impact the Premier League? Um, before World Cup starts, how what do we expect of player performances? So, as somebody who can play ball once in a while, I know say football as the most of them they use the muscles them. Yeah. So if they get for try hard, then more look at the fact that injuries get for Boko. Yeah. Yes. So that you know one thing we get for affects player them performances and some go they fear injuries because of it one from in the World Cup squad for some players then they already day into World Cup squad even without an oscillate yeah. date. So then they get for affect their performances because of the you for take less the weeks. Out, oh, yeah, out for take less weeks at times. Yes. What do you think? Um, yeah, that's, as Aki say, um, because obviously um, World Cup get for day, I think there's an international break as well. Yes. So before then there as well, then go they play, if they go World Cup last year, they can't get injured now, then they're not going to play again. So I think as Aki say, they're not going you know, to do too too much because they're not going to injure themselves. For example, they go World Cup, World Cup done, and then they will can, then they will continue the, the 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 league again. Okay. Um. So I think with that, we just get for wait and see until the season starts. Then we know because I know maybe some national team managers are going to reach out to some club managers and say, oh, this player you want for managing time. minutes. Exactly. Because especially they intend for do that day. But you go want for balance or match fitness and also reduce the risk of injury. Um, so let me discuss chips. So for managers, the way they play um, Fantasy Premier League for the first time, the chips them, um, I go start off with the wild card, right? So I go take bench boost and discuss the other one then. And talk with you the context for this season. So, one of the most or the most important chip that the wild card. What in the wild card mean is when so normally you get two wild cards at the first during the first half of the season where you for use before December, then the second half of the season where you for use before the season done. The wild card they give you opportunity for change your whole squad and at no cost. So, as long as you get a wild card, you will change your whole team. Normally, when you make transfers, when you don't make you one free transfer, you make any other transfer that they minus four. But the wildcard, they give you an opportunity for changing one on squad without having to um, um, take any um, minuses. However, one thing where you for note, when you use your wildcard, make sure, say, you de plan ahead. So, like, if I use my wildcard game week eight, I de plan where I de set my team. After using my wildcard, I did plan for game week 9, game week 8, game week 9, game week 10, 11, and 12 at least. Then you need for, you always the plan ahead. So FPL a like game of projection. You always get for the look at things, say, okay, I did bring this in now, but the reward you get for pay off down the line. You don't always get for expect immediate returns. Um, 
One key thing for note, however, because World Cup get for start this season, game week 17, managers then they get the opportunity for change the entire squad. That's now because World Cup was just done and really assume say injuries would happen. So then they go be a wild card in itself. So you get three wild card. However, that wild card they only available for that game week 17 yeah. game, um, game week. If you don't use them, a non-transferable. So you get for use them, make sure say after World Cup done, take an assessment of the players the way fit, um, then you plan ahead. So that's not for the wild card. You want for uh, explain about the um the bench boost? Okay, so with bench boost, how it operates now more like now, 11 players then scores, then can always count. Like the starting players, then the only way somebody go replace the starting players, then I wouldn't take one person from the bench and he replace her with somebody who not play. That now possibly score zero and is zero now because of inner play. So, how the bench boost the work now, where you bank on all your 15 players then for one game week. And as you use, and that means say, the 11 players that when you start as them, plus also the four players then within you bench, then scores go count. So, that time, they, most of the th most times waiting. We can actually advise people them. Um, make sure say when you are use your bench boost, all your fifteen players that you should say then they start in get for make points. So it can be around ten when a double game week or ten where you should say you will get more points because at the end of the day, no way no they for play this pass you use your instinct or what you think say right. Yeah. Okay, so another chief way they um na the triple captain. The triple captain na the chief way you they um the captain where you don't choose for that particular week, game weekly, the points where he make, it be triple and for you. So for example, let's say Salah, Salah na captain for a, a game week. So if Salah make um, 15 points, that means when you, you activate your triple captainship, Salah they make 45 points. And it can advisable for let you use them like let's say double game week. So for example, double game week, the player they play twice. So if you want to uh, wait that to you triple captain, you want to do any um, on a uh, uh, player where they play, you know, say a hundred percent get for play. So let's say if Salah they play, for example, twice. So if Salah don't make that fifteen at one uh, um, game, then in a forty-five. The way they play back, let me say make all that ten point. That's like thirty. So you add the um, thirty and the forty-five, you get seventy-five points. So now you and I they use you triple captainship. So the one with all left now the free hit. Yeah. So the difference between the wild card and the free hit, where you use free hit, free they give you chance for change your one whole team. But where you use free hit, you they get an existing team. The team before you use your free hit, they come the next game week after you don't use the free hit. Yeah. While it's the wild card now, ditch players then we don't come in, they don't get for change again. So just notice uh, the team where you for use your free hit. Now when you should say most of your players they don't get for play or they don't get favorable fixture the next game week, or let me just say they don't get for play because there are times where like, they get blank game weeks where players and you know, they get fixture for play that game week. Day. Okay, um, so interesting points on how for use the chips and how for plan. So now let's look at the, um, the season where they're ahead. Win more with Mercury International. Up to six draws per day are now available. How exciting is this? You can play little all day from monday to saturday one draw every two hours from 9 a.m to 8 p.m and on sunday one draw every hour and a half from 12 p.m to 6 p.m check out all draw results broadcast live on ftn channel 35 pick your draw your game and be the next winner win big money Every day with Mercury International. Plus 18 years old. Please gamble responsibly. Waiting with things in the best way, like when you they set up your team, you don't register and you first time you they play, how you advise, like what's in our advice um, on how for set up a team. So let's let say somebody you go to get advice or say, okay, I don't sign up, I don't do all of this. How for pick me team? Waiting for waiting for do waiting for take into consideration. So some of the things um, where you need to understand is even though the game they so now by prizes each player's day. And the players them where them price them really high, then can usually call them premiums. So you need to understand so you need to get balanced team. And the only way you go get a balanced team now if you make sure say you limit the number of premiums the way you get. Like for example, we can say we get like five premiums then at the game, I can say 
Salah, Harry Kane, De Bruyne, yeah, yeah. Ronaldo, Haaland, and maybe other people in there. If you get all them players so in there, you team. Yeah. Son yes, also. Exactly. So if you get all them players yeah. in there, you team, you're not going to forget other good players that may go make points. And there's a possibility that you can be premium and you need to make points some game with yeah. them. Yeah. So that's why the best way for this is bank bank on two or three. Then at the end of the day, get a well balanced squad where you go get other good defenders. Then we you know say then they play then they make points like Trent, Robertson, Cancelo, James. Yeah. That is the best way for start your team like balance the big hitters them and make sure say you get like two or three. Then you make sure say you balance them well with very good players. Then where they make points in midfield and also the attack. Okay, so Andy, I want to make you give me a more. Um, um, detailed view now let's say you just start from the back almost like you go want to keep adding for cost almost you want to defend like almost you go spend what, what do you think say go be the way you distribute your funds them across the and also you go want for spend big because you get different approach right um yes so um obviously you keep her so the keepers they're not in that expensive so for this season i think the highest now 5.5 um yeah. and that's in uh, allison right that's allison i think Lori. Uh, okay Lori Spot, and um what are you in? allison allison and that yeah, okay. Edassin yeah Edassin okay. Well. okay so the rest now the candle so mainly it's five you get um raya um, 4.5 4.5 which is yeah. good apparently then first I think then first eight games they only play yes. any of the big six. So if you're not first in, we you know I invest too much with now you will keep a like I can kind side for you. Um so you can um, because now two goalkeeper you get um one get for the bench obviously. So you know one who get two five point five million and goalkeepers there. So you go either get for example you get a five or five million goalkeeper go they actually play with start. There may be somebody will cost four million we go in at the bench. Um so for you we defend. So now that they funny because the formation now this season, yes. because of the prize as Aki say, it's kind of funny. We know we'll we get some premium defenders the way all man go one at the team, like um Trent, Robert Sim, Cancelo, um the midfield now, obviously Salah. <laughs> Salah go for the Namio midfield. So the midfield now this season again, um Wait till I don't notice now some templates I don't see. Managers they no invest better in our midfield. Midfield, yes. Just because um, because people are focused on the forwards and the defense. So the midfield where you go wait you go see maybe is maybe two two top players there. Okay. The rest people in the draft of with yeah, enablers so in now we go help them. Fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps. What's then, about attack? Attack now. We know now we popular fix and Gabriel Jesus and Haaland. Yes. Um, I think people in the team, Mito Beach and all and stuff in the board depends. <laughs> it dep uh, obviously, a newly promoted team, team Fulham. Yeah. And you don't know how they will can, um, cope in the Premier League. So, no, you know, you know, good, like how I keep saying, you are so, proven assets. You can't really okay. bank on bank on them players. And so, with attack, I think um, you can get premium picks as well. Then you just set, you bench now. I think where, where you don't invest in that team, they bench, you never know, forget better again. So I oh, think yes. the four and four point five, and then we feel yes. you. Yeah, you and bench. I can remember two seasons back, me to go with you, and before we almost everybody be bank yes. on. Yes. Then they actually True. flop. Yes, yes, and they relegate. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, so um, taken from what in una both una two don't say. Um, when me they build me team, obviously they focus on players they were highly owned because the percentage. Ownership they affect you. If all man own Salah, Salah score big, you don't own Salah, you definitely yeah, get for go down the ranks. However, um, one advice I can forget is when you pick players, then make sure they're in a certain price points. Because if you get player like Darwin Nunes, then you buy other player that you want Salah, for example, and you don't get any premium assets. You get for sell beaucoup players and for uh, buy a Salah or a Son. So you won't forget, like, at every position, defense, midfield, and attack, you won't forget one premium asset at least. Mm -hmm. Then you make sure, say, um, um, you fill her in. So you get premium assets, you get mid-price assets. Like, Luis Diaz now is a mid-price asset. Mm -hmm. We managers then can get. Um, Wait, for us, so then they obviously, when they say FPL, they work with budget. So you can't have all the premium yes. assets. So you know you know get for balance you see exactly. like how you say get premium down like every level you defense, you midfield and you forward. So you know get for they take too many hits. 
Yes. Uh, and you're missing even where price go rise. So maybe the fetch for buy salary if you don't get salary so you go get for take three hits for top for being in no one sure. Yes, and another thing I think say about the bench, we need for look at players them we really cheap but players they where they start. Yes. Right, so like at the moment, there's um Pereira, we come more Man United to Fulham. Yeah. There's I think there's this Nathan Patterson, there's um Diogo Dalo with the United 4.5. So we need to look at them players and the way they start regularly and say, okay, you bring them in, then go give funds for use elsewhere. But if anything happens with one of you starters, then can easily replace them and then so they would. We also talk about team value. The reason yes. why it's nice for a player where they start now you bench because of in value, you know, they, 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 they depreciate. But if you get a player when they start, then it's possible to so you go buy them at 4.0, then till when you're ready for transfer amount, you don't go 3.9, 3.8. Yes. So then it's more like a disadvantage to you forget what you actually want. Okay. Um, so now moving on to how for pick your team. We need for focus on the teams there. We think they get very good fixtures, yeah. right? So, um, what teams do we think have good fixtures? Let's say the first, let's consider the first six game weeks, right? The first six game weeks. Who's team that we think say get like team that we get good fixtures then? The champions, Man City. Man City. Yeah. Um, I also think say Arsenal get very good fixtures. Yeah, right. yes. I think I get the best the, fixtures. You get their fixtures. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, so yes. for us now, they get Palace away, they get Leicester at home, they get Bournemouth away, Fulham mm. home, Villa uh, home. Yes. And I think they get United, United away. I also think say Liverpool get very good fixtures. Yeah. Where you they start, you want teams that will get a very good um, burst of games them. So even if you ever transfer it out, they're going to add in value. So now if we able tell managers and say, where will they start? We, uh, yes, whose players them, like whose premium assets them forget? I mean, from different teams. Okay. Yes. Okay, so first of all, for goalkeeper, um, we need to say Mendy from Chelsea. We don't see, say, he's a very good um, goalkeeper. He be able, Chelsea know they concede. I hope say this season no concede <laughs> much as well. Um, for defender, obviously, Trent. Trent's good in the assist, in the score. They um, Liverpool will keep clean sheets on a very good um, um, assets for her. For uh, midfield, Mohamed Salah. Salah, no proven um, assets. There's no explanation. For that, they proven Salah. assets. Um, for forward, um, let's say, and they go with uh, Gabonese for Arsenal. I think pre season has been great. So I think so this starting the season. It's going to be even good this season, so yeah. I look forward to it again for can chaos again for can cause that the Premier League. I me day in between for goalkeepers, Ederson obviously. Then I notice say uh, even though Robertson, yes. then they call him premium, but like you know each fifteen percent it way owner. Okay. So Robertson for me, so because he will serve as a differential at yeah. the end of the day. Then also. <laughs> this one is risky, but for midfielders, the Marcos Rashford, they must get mm. reason is yes. I believe in <laughs> Ten Hag. I also believe say last season you don't put on Bienna, and I also yeah. believe in talent. Then for strikers, one person where I think say I go always day with now Harry Kane. Yeah. I can at that person where no matter what didn't happen when it comes to Premier League, he must get in young goals them and getting assist. Even though the first month he hardly score. Oh yes. Kind of something yeah. So but the anyways. Yeah. Okay. okay, so me starting from the back, I would say David Raya with the Brentford. I like cheap goalkeepers them. Get cheap goalkeeper them. You will spend um spend your funds na other parts of the team. Defense, when I don't call um Trent, I would say Cancelo. Cancelo, they play for City. City, they attack very well. And they always they try for use their inverted fullbacks them for contribute to their attacking output. So that's settled. For the midfield, you say um, Salah and Rashford. Okay, so that gives me somebody, um, Luis Diaz. Yes, Luis Diaz. I think say Diaz gets for replace Sadio Mane. And now the same type way, so they don't. I like how Liverpool plan them before money they go, they don't find replacement, right? And he's been exceptional from where he starts, yeah. he's yeah. been very ex exceptional. And he get a very good price point eight million 
right? An expensive password TV. I mean, it's a shock, but for a output and potential output, yes. But one thing we'll get for considering and like how well the team get for Jen, because Liverpool get this unique way where they play. They don't count Nunes now, we don't like targets, man. We don't know how well they all get for play. So we'll go, get for see how that they go. Um, for attack, Haaland. So let's say game week one. Oda go be your captain for game week one. Like first game, first game week of the season. Oda like captain. Just get for Visala. <laughs> yes, Visala will get the the Ambali on Salah right now. At the moment. Yeah. If we be able to think of another option. Um. So I think Ken is a very good option. Yeah, yeah, Southampton, yeah, they play Southampton so. at home. And do not forget, Conte does sort of instill this killer mentality in our sports. Then they push harder. Would I, I, I see that um, training video like oh, all the players they collapse? Yeah. So you Conte, Conte a winner. They might not win the league, but they get games there where they go do extremely well. Yeah. And Salah very good outlet as well. So I think Salah is a good me, option. In Ireland, I say better captain to peak than Kane. The chances them where Man City they create, it just get for be solely for Alan more, yeah. like percentage Football wise. Yeah. But if you look at Spurs, we don't see how the even Son they try, then get each a listen. So yeah. when it comes to captaincy, I think it's not only make the difference in the game. Yeah. So if you they pick somebody with like not only the higher percentage, then pick somebody who thinks they can make you make the difference yeah. between the competitors. Then so um, again. As the season in progress, we want to make all man to keep in touch with we. We the ten them we we not get for day on air or wanna not get for able listen on we on radio every Monday radio Mercury um, FM ninety two point one um, at five p.m. We they ask that managers then follow we social media handles um, we um, Andrea go tell them about and waiting we for expect from them pages then they. Okay, so the social media handles are uh, Matthew Sophie Ethel on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. And Twitter. Yes. So obviously, we go to post. Um, and they will go to post. Um, for example, the monthly prizes for the manager of the month and the best game game week score. We go to post about. Um, for example, there we radio and TV um, shows there. So now go know what time and when enough for uh, when enough for tuning. Um, the top ten managers. The top ten every, every month week. now. We go the um, um, every game week as well. Every game week, yes, sorry, yes. with the screenshot the first the top ten managers. Yes. There, standing up for limits in like for example, Tima will be exactly. saying that name change and all. So every week we they um, do a screenshot of the top ten from game week one to the last day of the 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 the, the season. And I think say this is going to be very interactive. A lot of things are happening, new signings. So before we round up, the last thing I would ask is prediction stop for. I think City will be the favorite game this season. Yes. So City, Liverpool. Yeah, not the other than it. City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal. City, Tottenham, Liverpool, Arsenal. I think City, Spurs. Um, Liverpool, Man United. <laughs> I think Man United go the top four. I mean, we might just edge it. So let's see. Um, but anyway, very good first episode. We um, we thank you all for st sticking with us this long. We hope say over the course of the season we will interact more with Una. Please, um, Una send in Una questions and Una wants me for answer on the social media handles them. And also know that this is sponsored by Mercury and also recorded at the iPro Multimedia Studios, um, who who has been um, wonderful with us. Um, so we hope say we get a lot of engagement. So as as they go, it's a goodbye for me. Goodbye for me too. Okay. Signing out, Andrea. Oh, 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 oh,